like Mr. Burns, like yeah. finger rolls. Like he's like, oh, well, I'm like, all right, Taylor. I'm, I'm in there, buddy. Do a little furry thing. Huh? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> this is interesting. These guys played quite a few times already. Prodigy repping NorCal. I think top two in NorCal with uh, Louis Money. I think Louis Money's on the other stream, so we got both the members of NorCal on the streams. We're going against Nico, and uh, and you said he ended up losing that to uh, James, right? So this might be losers. Yeah, I believe so. This this should be losers. Um, could be talking out my ass, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's not. Um, or rather, I'm not. But there we go. We got beautiful Prodigy in the little yeah. penguin suit. Versus so, uh, Demise's very own Nico. He got the focus sash on. He's ready to go. Yeah, he's got some JoJo like headband thing going on. Yeah, I'm not going to question it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so basically what happened is Nico beats Prodigy at Port Priority. Nico then lost to Prodigy at main stage. So from what I know, they're even up in sets. And this is like the. Oh, yeah, this is losers again. They're fighting it. They're digging out losers. All right, and there we go. Already a pretty strong start coming out from Prodigy. We see Nico immediately switching into that Shield Renato. The moment that multi hit comes out, does not want to give him any more ground than he needs to. Yeah, so. Oh, Ooh, he's gone. see ya! He is out of here! You know, I was just about to say, yeah, you know, we got a lot of Mario's in SoCal. Nico plays the matchup a lot. You know, he probably knows what to do. And then, like, nah, he's actually dead. He's gone. He's like, see, yeah, they, they see didn't really it. have a much of a chance at all right there. It's the beautiful spike. So you know what? You can try using your shield and as much as you want. But if I have the hit stun just right, there is nothing you can do. Yeah. yeah, basically, I mean, Mario can still combo show pretty well. He has to play around the shield art messing up his combos, but... For the most part, like, Shulk is able to just kind of keep Mario out when he's playing, you know, the matchup like how he wants to. And it'd be really rough for Mario to get in, but right now, uh, Prodigy's not really having that trouble. Yeah. yeah. Historically, you know, it's always been kind of a thing where Mario would struggle against characters that had Ooh. Oh, no, he was in that Smash Bernardo oh, really? too. Yeah. There was no way he meant to do that. I'm Smash, though, uh, right? Like, yeah. I feel like Shulk, that's suspect. the forbidden move. You know what I mean? Like You only go for that when you have, like, <laughs> your opponent's soul, like, in your palm <laughs> of your hand. Like, you know exactly what they're going to do. But uh, nice of you. Air slash, okay. air, air, caught the jump, I believe. But uh, I don't know, this one's uh, looking rough. Like oh. this, this is a rough comeback to come back from. Yeah. And honestly, uh, this is a great stage for Prodigy to start off on. That Smashville platform makes his combos just, up. oh no, are we good? Yeah, I'm about right. to say, what's up? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I mean, make calm down, bro. Back to the stage, oh, I like that nair to dash attack, gets the floor there. Uh -oh. I think he caught the jump, but right? he caped? Okay. He did get the jump. Nice yeah. from Nico doing exactly what he needed to to bring himself back into this. Now the speed Bernardo's out. He's trying to break some ankles. Let's see if we can get a Nico stock, the fabled Nico stock, where he has that last stock where he just kind of runs all over his opponent when he looks like he's down and out. He's oh. going to need it. Right Prodigy's now, he's getting uh, his ass whooped. Yeah, it's, it's not looking like a Nico stock right now. It's going to be a Prodigy stock. But I don't want to call it. I mean, I've seen, I've seen him win these. Okay, well, I'll, I'll wait for it. Shulk definitely does have that KO star power. Oh, but, ooh, hold up. He has to drop that Monado. Save this. Oh, that's ooh, so barely, scary. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. ooh. That Nair is safe. And now he's like, <laughs> he's like, let me get, oh, and caught him. Let me catch this clean anti-air real quick. That up smash cannot be challenged. Got a dome of steel or something. <laughs> it never seems to. I don't know what's in that like top head, oh, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what he's got hiding under there. Got a whole uh, ass anvil in there, just like gonna bop him in. Some acne type stuff. All right, so this stuff, Prodigy. Yeah, I mean, kind of convincing-ish. I feel like that last stock, especially up until that point, I and mean, he did have that explosive first stock as yeah, well. Yeah, so. died like a like a fifty, bro. Like, <laughs> got grabbed, and that was it. It feels but, like uh, it's a constant game of just like catch up for Nico, at least in that game one. We'll see if game two has a different uh, just overall feel to it, but. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how Prodigy uh, does this matchup, just because, yeah, Nico knows the Mario matchup very well, and uh, I know there's like a few Shulk players in, um, you know, NorCal, but I, I don't know if he knows the extent that Nico does, but in spite of that, he still does incredibly well versus Nico. Okay, right into the shield, Monado. So it gets a little bit of extra damage, but can't seem to quite find an opening. Throwing out those nares, kind of space himself out. <laughs> the patience from Nico there, trying to extend this a little bit further. This is a good start. Oh, did he oh. catch the jump of me? Wow. Nice. He just waited for that one opportunity. Oh, watch your DI, though. Yeah, you don't want to get sent in another up air, up air, forward air situation. Man, I'm taking a look right here. It looks like these two did end up playing at Port Priority 5. Looks like it was 3-1 in the favor of Nico there, but at main stage, you did find Nico taking that L. So yeah. pretty back and forth between the two. 
Yeah, it's really impressive. Especially because I just think this is a really uphill battle for Mario most of the time. Getting in on shoulders is difficult. Yeah, and one of the weird things is Shulk, yeah, he has a long disjoint, which has historically been a problem for Mario, but in the same vein, all of his aerials kind of take a long time to come out. And Mario, on the other hand, can kind of throw him out pretty willy-nilly. So if he's able to just close the gap, he can really be oppressive once he's up close. That is true. Oh, Nico is a little bit greedy for that. Not going to get punished for it, though. Oh, watch the smash uh -oh. art. Oh, you, oh, oh. you never want to be here yet. You see the bravery on this man parrying that back air? Yeah, because that was definitely Finito if he got hit by that <laughs> yeah. back air. Oh, oh, never mind. He's out of here. That speed Monado zip right to the ledge. Yeah, He's honestly. Packing. The speed Monado let him get enough distance to cover in a short amount of time to get off stage and just delete that stock. The adjustments have definitely been made. Back throw. Oh, yeah, you've definitely gone. 31% though? Has a little bit of work to make up for here. Nico uh -oh. looking like a new man in the second game. Wow, that hit. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> that that non hitbox is very deceptive. But he's playing so brave against Buster. Honestly, I think it's, it's best to just not get whiff punch and take a thousand percent against Buster and just try to uh, weigh it out, honestly. That's like one of those oh. things. Ooh. Dang, okay, you didn't yeah. need to hit him. Yeah, he spooked him, man. Hit I mean, him with that Probably didn't have smash. a smash. Couldn't make it back. And there we go, Nico with an immediate response to Prodigy. And that, that second game, if that's going to be the complete download for us as set, Prodigy could be in a load of trouble here. We're going to see what his answer is for this game three. But especially with the handliness, how quick that game two was, I don't know. I mean, I feel like with uh, this stage list, Prodigy just does not have a short picking of great stages for him to I go agree. to. So, and if anything, like, you know, it didn't work out in town, let me just go to PS2. Didn't work out in PS2 potentially. Uh, let's just go with Battlefield. Like, he has so many different ways to, you know, play on a good stage here. But let's see. Let's see if the adjustments will be made here for Pride. He's already off to a pretty good start here. Definitely appreciate the patience, too. He's trying to see if he can catch Nico holding forward a little bit too much and get the solid whiff punches in from there. Yeah, and what right. I like from Prodigy as well, we just saw him do it two times in a row there, is that he will mash up there out of hit stun to keep Nico on and saying, hey, this is not a true combo, so if you do not try to keep your confirms true, I will retaliate with this up air every single time. Yeah, and that's a really rough scenario to be in just because that up air from Mario leads to so much pain. So Nico's got to be very careful here, but nice, getting the buster damage. Oh, that's a bad trade. Luckily, he switched the jump to get a little bit more aerial mobility to get back to the ledge. Now he's in a pretty good spot to set up for the ledge trap here. I know you guys have that whole thing about Nico ledge trapping, but it looks like Prodigy having no issue getting right back to center and now reversing the scenario. Oh, that roll was so scary. I thought that was up smash city for Prodigy. Same. <laughs> oh, man. That is actually much stronger than it seems. Mm -hmm. Even with good DI, Prodigy was gone. And with a clean slice, fresh cut from the barber. Go ahead and try to make it play back on the stage. Yeah, well timed Yeah, caught the ledge here. jump immediately. And took no percent at all. That's great stuff. You don't want to give Nico opportunity to just run away with the lead here. He's trying to mix up his fireballs, putting Ooh. them on the platform and off the platform to try and mix up uh, what angle they're coming from. But Nico, not too phased, honestly, not really getting hit by the fireballs, but it still does allow Prodigy to control space. Nico seeing Prodigy. Look like he's just trying to bail out these aerials because he's been really good at like power to Nico's approaches. So Nico's trying to slow down the place, not really, uh, you know, overextend too much. And just hold on to the stage control like he should with, you know, the range advantage he has here. But, okay, DIing away from off stage with the up airs. It's going to take a lot of damage, but it's better than losing your life. Yeah, he's got quite a wealth of hurting there, but he's still making oh, it yeah. back on stage. Oh, the back Okay, throw. luckily he lives that. He didn't, I mean, I guess it shouldn't kill at 90%, but oh, oh my goodness. He had to immediately up the after getting that tech because he had no more jumps left. Yeah, I wonder Man. if he even meant to do that on purpose. Unfortunate, finding himself leading to his own demise, I guess. But Nico at 107 in shield, he kind of camp it out. It's not like he's moving very fast. And then look for the KO now. Nice right, delayed neutral air, catching the parry timing. Kazi a little bit caught off guard by that. Hope we don't see a situation where he starts fishing for the kill because Nico's going to get a lot of free punches that way. 
Nice. Oh. Has to jump melee, but we're still living. And have to jump hard to get straight to the ledge for free, pretty much. Yeah, just the amount of aerial mobility he gets, man. He's drifted so far to the side. But still, just one more clean hit from prior to close this gap here. Has to be a little bit terrified now because Nico's getting that percent where yeah. Smash is just going to be one, maybe a four kill. Okay. okay. Yeah, Nico a little swinging kind of crazy there with the up tilt. Uh oh. Yeah, Watch know, how you right? get off the ledge here. Oh, he's barely living. But he's in such a terrible spot. Nice flood to get him off the ledge a little bit, though. All right. Watch yourself oh. getting back to the stage. Luckily, Smash. that's not sure win away. Just right that now. Hit. All right, he's looking for that one big combo starter. Wants to grab or falling up there or even the down air. But Nico is just not surrendering this pressure. No. He knows exactly what Mario wants. He's not giving it to him for free. But the landing there. Ooh. All right. Nice. Good start for Prodigy. Oh. oh, and he can't switch. All right. He's just Wait. immediately switching that shield dart. He's like, I'm not trying to get sent in the Mario Vortex. Oh, will hold up. All right. He switches out this match. He doesn't want to die to extra early percent. Probably done a decent job bringing this back. Can Nico hold on to the stage control, though? Oh, nice down throw. Not able to get a follow up, though. Oh, he's looking for that juicy hit. Prodigy can feel oh. it. The momentum is in his favor. Nico still trying to box him out. That's a free oh. punish. No, he doesn't no, come yeah, down he, in time. He mixed up his timing. Drifted back just slightly on the upbeat. Oh, nice oh. parry, but you can't try to challenge that. Even on max range, if you parry it, Sulk is absolutely safe. So you have to just wait for the next option. Prodigy thought that was his opening, so he went for a dash grab, but got have tilted for his troubles. Still, though, Prodigy, man, he was bringing that super, super back. I, I know Nico was shook. He was just playing so well around the hitboxes of Shulk. We've seen several times already in this one set just how Prodigy will run in, parry a forward air or a back air or a neutral air, because he knows, all right, Shulk, yeah, he has some range, but all of his attacks are single hits outside of the up air, which nobody really uses, and the up smash, you know, some of his down smash. Some of the moves that nobody uses are the ones that have multi-hits, really. So he's like, all right, I'll parry this. I'll try to close the gap. It's really the only way for me to get in there, but that back air was just too well spaced for him to get that opening. But hopefully, in this game four, he will have the answers he's looking for. Nico barely holding on that last game. Yeah, I definitely can see. If probably able to play anywhere like he played that last stock, I can see him bringing this to a game five, but first he's gotta worry about getting off oh. this ledge, man. This is a different mini game in its oh. own right. All right, now he will get a big combo off of that. Get a little bit greedy with the dash grab as well. Finds himself yet again at the ledge here. Okay. No carry up again, there. Nigo's consistently DIing away from off days. He's not going to get forward air. Die incredibly early. And combined with him switching to the shield art too, like that just really messes up uh, Prodigy's, you know, deadliness of his combos. Okay, I like that back air. Stuffs the jump once again. But he won't be able to find too much more. He's just trying to space himself around, but it's so hard to weave through these hitboxes with Shulk. Prodigy nice. has been doing such a good job, but just needs to find that one big opening to secure the kill. Oh, barely missing that grab. There's obviously no falls right on top of him with the back air. Okay, Prodigy just trying to lay his cover as much as possible. Doesn't make this sweep for Nico. Oh, great drift, but it's not enough. That smash art back air closing out that stock. That was such a good way to get off the ledge from Prodigy, but. Still gonna fall grip into that back air there. Oh, what a clutch spot dodge. Ooh. No, oh, tech, but can't get under or pass from under the stage there. Yeah, kind of the, I even know what's called the underbelly of Pokemon Stadium is being a little bit too much for Shulk to be able to deal with, but chopping right through that fireball and hitting Prodigy in the process. This could be disastrous. Oh, oh my free what punish. Did you just see the walk? Away. Did you see that? The slow walk? The, the smooth on my man? Bruh. That exactly spacing was, was impeccable. Exactly and he was, he was in Smash R2. That four smash was super killing there. Not a inch of doubt in his mind. Nico, so confident in exactly what Project was going to do. Had scouted out the offensive options from the ledge so many times, and now, up, wait, that's not going to kill, though. Def not. Yeah, but look at the percent here. Prodigy is very close to sealing the stock. Nico's got to stay uh -oh. vigilant here. Does not want to give up this lead he has built for himself. Oh. Oh, oh. man, he drifted back with the sports match. Made that move whiff just slightly. And then, yeah, Nico, I definitely know he didn't want to drop that stock in that position. He had so much more, you know, to play with on that stock. 
and now I have to wonder, Prodigy is probably a little bit shaken up. That last stock from Nico definitely did some mental damage, but he's fighting back so strongly, it makes me wonder, like, man, if Nico's gonna let this slip away from him, I feel like the game five is not gonna bode well for him as he's slowly inching closer to victory, but Prodigy inching even closer to making this an even game. Who will secure this KO? Oh, what are you gonna do up the ledge here? Ah! Yeah, Smash Heart fares way too powerful. Covers so many options at the ledge. It's one of the scariest positions to be in.